What's up, Spikes? Back at it again here from the world headquarters in Winnipeg, Manasnoba. And no, I did not make that up myself either time. I've said it, you know. We're back playing some C E D. H and I today am going to be starting us off with Aurelia, Better Helms and Gardens, once again by Scoots. It's on the decklist database and you should go check it out because it's a fun deck that lets me play my favorite colors while also playing my favorite combo, namely infinite combat steps using Helm of the Host. Yo, it's Jerry uh, one. <laughs> And I'm here to say... <laughs> That's what I was going into and I just had to stop myself. I think I would have liked it, yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, though. Jerry's going to be wrapping up hard work. We're, we're cutting none of this. It's all staying in. Oh, Let's yeah, go, Jerry. Jerry here. I'm playing... Uh, t <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you playing, Jerry? <laughs> I'm playing uh, Tishana, Voice of Thunder. We're doing some Tishy Fishy action here today. Uh, doing some Elf Ball. I'm hoping uh, for the first time in this channel's history that I finally win with this deck on the channel. Nice. It does happen. I've seen it before. I yeah. I don't think I have, but uh, I'll believe you. I mean, you, you've won a game. Yeah. yeah. I've Just seen you win with. lots of games with this. Yeah. Not on the channel. Not yeah. on the channel. <laughs> uh, I'm playing a, a new deck. I've never played this deck before, so um, when I eventually muck things up, um, we'll chalk it up to that. Yeah, blame uh, Jim. I'm playing Minsk Beloved Ranger. Uh, this is a deck known as Minsk Garlic on the deck list database. Not a fan of the name. Big yeah, fan you, of the, big yeah, fan you of the are. deck. No. Don't lie. No, big fan of the deck, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know who made it, but we'll link it. It's in the deck list database. This is a uh, Protein Hulk deck. Uh, it's really cool. It uses Minx, Minsk's... I'm going to have so much trouble saying that. Uh, it uses its X ability as a sack outlet, kind of like you do with Mirror, uh, Mirror Entity. Mm -hmm. uh, as a sack outlet for Protein Hulk, it's a really, really cool deck. Um, yeah, it's like Nea, Protein Hulk, uh, combos, and yeah. Sick. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Elliot. I'm going last in turn order, unfortunately, because Alex is better at rolling dice than anybody else at the table. Uh, I am playing Ukima Kazur, uh, food chain allurant. Uh, so uh, Kazur is just there for green, which is important because that's how we cast food chain. And uh, then we're going to do some infinite stuff with uh, Ukima, either through said food chain or Alluren. That's the plan. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I think so. All right, I'm going to start the game. Please do. <laughs> Sacred Foundry, <laughs> untap, take two, go to 38. Chrome Mox. No offense. Exiling Silence. Sacred Foundry taps for Aether Vial. Aether, Aether Vial. Vial is a spicy one. Yeah. Huh. Pass. Wow. Interesting. I think so. Aether Vial. Aether Vial. Uh, forest. Mana Crypt. Into a Wood Elves. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get this uh, Tropical Island and then pass the turn. Okay. Good. I'll draw a card. I'm going to play a an Arid Mesa and immediately crack it going to 39. I'm going to get this Savannah and I'm going to tap it and cast a Utopia Sprawl. Targeting? So, targeting my Savannah. <laughs> very, very good. Isn't it? I'm it glad we talked about that. Uh, so good. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, I am going to name White. Sounds mm -hmm. good. And I'll pass the turn. Alrighty. I will draw a card. You know what? I'm going to start things off here. I'm going to pay to life. And Gataxian Probe. I'm on the throne! So I'm going to 38 here. And I want to see what is in Jeremiah's hand. I have observed Jeremiah's hand, and I will draw a card from my Gataxian Probe. Hmm. That one's not very good. Did he have a snow-covered swamp? Might have. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to shock myself for this breeding pool, and then I'm going to tap that to play a Lanawar Elves. Very nice. And I'll pass the turn. Sounds good. Uh, we're going to untap. In my upkeep, I'll put a counter on Aether Vial and then draw a card. Aether Vial. <laughs> He's going to put a Bomat Courier into play. <laughs> Aether Vial. Um... Ba -ba 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 I'll play this Urza Saga, give it its first oh, counter. That's a good magic card. It it it's pretty good. I, I don't hate it. Uh, then we'll tap two for an Umazawa's Jite. Mm. Oh, my creatures! Mm -hmm. Oh no! 
After that, oh. we'll pass the turn. All right. Untap. Uh, I'm going to roll for Mana Crypt, even as I take damage. Nice. Where's that weighted coin we gave her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, floating at colorless, I'm going to cast a Sylvan Scrying. I knew that one was there. Mm. I'm going to get this uh, Guy's Cradle and put it into my hand. Whoa, that's a pretty good card. <clears throat> uh, for my land drop of the turn, I- I'm going to play this island. Oh, oh! I was going to say I bet it's going to be a Guy's Cradle. But- I'm going to tap two and play this Priest of Titania. My elf. I'm a fool. I played right into his hand. Pass the turn. And you know what was in his hand. The priest of Titania was not. (laughs) (laughs) Can confirm. I will draw. I will play this Spire Garden. That's a good one. And then tap for a green, white, and a red. (gasps) And play Minsk. Oh, Jesus. I didn't think it was happening that quick. Uh, If that resolves, uh, ETB, trigger, Mm -hmm. make a boot. Make a boot. When you my boo, you know I'm crazy. Uh, stop! It's too accurate. We're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get demonetized. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Boo on our Discord, by the way, and shout out to Min- Mink. 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 Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, it's got haste. I'm gonna attack. Oh my god! Dang. Uh, I'm gonna attack Alex. Ah, oh, oh, owned. Still on the throne. Jerry at full life, and he attacks me. That's it for me. Uh, on I tap. might have blocked. He could With either of my elves. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Jerry. Draw for turn. I'm going to cast a ponder. That's not an elf. Shut up. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to think about some things here. I'm going to put them back on top in this order, and I am actually just going to draw a card. I'm not going to shuffle my deck. Uh, oh, look! The land I want to play. It's a morphic pool. Uh, you three are my opponents, so it will enter untapped. Can see, I thought we were friends. You didn't even offer me an alliance. Didn't ask, yeah. Uh, hey, Alex. What's up? Uh, this is a card that I think you will like. And by like, I mean hate. Null Rod. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh! Mm-hmm. Yeah, your mana crypt can... Uh... I learned about that card in our Better Null Combo series <gasps> from every episode we've ever done. Yeah, oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> this card's pretty good. It's wildly pretty okay. <laughs> I'm going to pass. All right, we're going to untap. In our upkeep, we'll get an Aether Vial trigger. We'll draw. Or is a Saga trigger. Play a Snow-Covered Plains. Activate Urza Saga for make a Construct. So we'll put Construct into play. That's a one, two, three, four, four. Cry a little. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, even as I take damage. Mm-hmm. No damage. Wow. What's Can't tap guess? it, but at least it doesn't hurt me. This turn. I'm still counting on it. Count away, bait. <laughs> I want to play this guy's cradle that we had no idea was there. You're right there, Jer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven mana, you say. Uh, your priest taps four, three. <gasps> yeah. Eight. I hate to Eight. admit it, Man. but you got to admit it. Elliot. <laughs> is eight mana enough? What turn is this? Four? Yes. Mm. It seems so late. I think three. It's turn three. You what elves? Oh, I would elves. Mm-hmm. And Sylvan's Okay, point. all right. That That's early. It's enough. your turn three. It's my mm-hmm. turn two. <laughs> I'm going to tap uh, seven mana, and I'm going to attempt to cast a Tishana, low value Tishana here. Mm-hmm. Oh, only drawing three cards. That's a seven mana draw three. <laughs> Any responses? No. no vex. That was what I would consider poor. Good. I like that for me. I will just pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw a card. Are we dead? A little bit. Yeah. Did we die? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to move to combat. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Seven seven. Alex this is a four four, so I guess I guess it's looking like me. <laughs> Elliot. Uh, one, yeah. I will take one. Down to 35. And that's it for me. I'll pass the turn. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will untap. I will draw for my turn. I'm going to play an underground C. Under the C. I knew it was going to happen. 
I'm still disappointed. And I'm also just going to pass the turn. Sounds good. Nothing nothing happening over here. Untapping my upkeep Aether Vial goes to three. Draw a step, I draw my card. Urza Saga goes to three, and I tutor up a useless artifact. Mm-hmm. Off Urza Saga, we'll grab this very useless soul ring. Yay. I'm helping. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll play this snow-covered no mount. Not like me. And me, to be fair. Yeah. Jerry, you gonna win on your turn? If I told you I'm gonna try, what would that what would that say? Elliot, you got a way to stop him, Mona? I guess it depends what he does. Okay. Watch, I'm gonna untap, upkeep, draw, pass turn. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pay one, two, three for unexpectedly absent targeting Null Rod. Put it beneath the top one cards of your library. Interesting. No effects to that, yeah. So I put it underneath one. Yes. yes. All right. I could have had to draw it next turn, but I didn't want to. This is pretty expectedly, though. He knows exactly the position of that card. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike my father. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to equip uh, my construct with Umazawa's Jite. <laughs> and I'm going to attack Jim for five. I have a response. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to chain him for the token. Oh. This is I a nice play. cannot let you put counters on that Jite. Yeah, yeah, that's super fair. Would you like to sacrifice a land to bounce a... Uh, yeah, you can copy permanent. it if you'd like to sacrifice a land. I'll go ahead and sacrifice my snow-covered planes to bounce your priest of Titania. Ball's back in your court, Jerry. I should have done math while we were thinking about that. Oh, this taps for mana again. It does. Huge. It does. You're welcome. We'll leave it. Pass turn. Upkeep. Untap. Oh, wait. On your instep, Alex? <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to cast Veil of Summer to draw a card. Ooh. Oh, I have Jerry cast did blue cast card. a blue spell. Anything else? That's it. All right, untap, upkeep. Uh, even I take damage. No, no damage. damage again. Jerry's great. Draw. Hey, uh, Elliot, how many islands you got? Two. Net positive. <laughs> this damn carpet of flowers. I'm going to play this carpet of flowers. I knew it. I'm gonna move to combat. Mm -hmm. Approved. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Deshaun is still a seven, seven. Hey, Elliot, do you run ad nauseum? Don't lie to me, boy. He does. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat and swing at Elliot for seven. Absolutely. Go to 28. Uh, of note, seven Tishana damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, you know, potentially it's all, it's relevant. All, it's only three attacks. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, second main phase. I'm gonna target Elliot uh, for this Carpet of Flowers effect and get two green manas. You got two. Bamboozled myself. I'm gonna ponder. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna elect to draw a random card off this ponder. Ooh. I think it was good, because Jerry's poker face is, uh... <laughs> Jerry's poker face? Not good. Bad. Card he drew? Probably good. Yeah. Based on his poker it's face. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. Okay, so I have two green floating. I'm gonna tap for a colorless. Well, two colorless. Using one of the colorless, I'm gonna play a soul ring. Nice. Mm -hmm. Soul ring. Nice. Of note. Same, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same, Same secret, secret layer. Lair. Oh. Um, that was a good secret layer. Yeah, you're a great secret layer. Thank you. Then I'm gonna use a green and play out this Draga Tree Speaker. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use a colorless and a green and play out this Priest of Titania. Mm -hmm. I remember that one. I know her. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tap for four green. Four, yeah. Yeah, yeah and play out a Wirewood Channeler. Mm -hmm. That is Priest of Titania, uh, except for any color. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pass the turn. Of note, Tishana is now only a, a little 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Oh, well, just a little 3-3. Three, three. Draw card. You're going to do something about these elves. <laughs> Not my deck. That's your job. I'm going to play this Bountiful Promenade. Play Sol Ring. 
Uh oh. That taps for mana now. It does. As we learned on Jerry's turn. <laughs> yes. I didn't tap. Oh, he didn't even. Tap <laughs> I didn't tap mine for mana though. Uh, yeah, but you said it. Oh, it was instructional, and that's when we learned it. <laughs> instructional. I would like to cast a card by the name of Academy Rector. Alert. Oh, oh, we we died. You don't have a counterspell? Absolutely not. I don't put counterspells in this oh, deck. I I... So, do you have any? Um. No, I don't have a way to draw a card, so this limb dual swallow in my hand doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to Cyclonic Rift your uh, Minsk. Oh, okay. Uh, I would like to respond by casting Autumn's Veil. Yeah. He did it. Wait, does that blue or black? No, it doesn't stop him from being able to target his own things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have no effects to Academy Rector. I've never had effects. Or, sorry, Autumn's Veil. Autumn's Veil vale resolves? Yes. You got Cyclonic it. Cyclonic Rift fails to resolve? Correct. Academy Rector resolves? Correct. Okay. I'd like to activate Minsk targeting Academy Rector X equals zero. Mm-hmm. Dies, triggers its own ability, and the Rector exiles itself on resolution of its ability. Uh, I searched up Pattern of Rebirth, gonna equip it to Boo. <gasps> no. And then I would like to activate Mint, <gasps> targeting Boo, X equals zero. You, you, you monster. monster. Boo dies. <gasps> Anybody who ever played Baldur's Gate is just raging in our comments. Right now. <laughs> uh, Pattern of Rebirth triggers. Oh, what's that one do? <laughs> I'm getting my good friend Protean Hulk. Oh. What does that one do? Uh, that one is a 6-6 six, six beast, and when it dies, I can search my library for any number of creature cards with total converted mana cost, a six or less, and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle my library. Fun. So, huh. with uh, Protein Hulk on the battlefield, I'm going to activate Minsk targeting Protein Hulk, X equals zero. Oh, oh, that kills, that kills the Hulk. That kills the Hulk. Oh. Okay, so off of the Protein Hulk trigger, I'm getting Mist Moon Griffin and Grand Abolisher. Okay. I would then like to activate Minsk targeting Mist Moon Griffin, X equals zero. Yep. It dies. I get Protein Hulk back, and I'd like to activate Minsk Targeting Protein Hulk. You gotta exile your Miss Moon Griffin. Fine. <laughs> Fine. X equals zero. Protein Hulk dies. Huh. Yep. I'm going to get off the Protein Hulk trigger, Felidar Guardian and Dockside Extortionist. They will enter at the same time. They'll both trigger. I'm going to stack the triggers such that Dockside uh, triggers first, occurs first. I think it's going to give me five treasures. I think it's seven. Seven, seven yeah, treasures. Because it's cool. enchantments too, right? Love it, yeah. Five, six, seven, yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'll make seven treasures. When the Felidar Guardian enters... I'm going to target the Dockside Extortionist to blink it and make another seven treasures. Fourteen treasures. Thank you, Elliot. Anytime. I'm going to use five treasures, go down to nine total, and cast Karmic Guide. Uh, that is going to enter the battlefield, trigger its own ability. It'll bring back Protein Hulk. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to sacrifice it again using Minx ability. Not sacrifice, but make it a zero, zero. Make it a zero, zero. Off of this Protein Hulk trigger, I'm going to get Kiki Jiki, Miki Biki, as well as Benevolent Bodyguard, just for good measure. Uh, then I would like to activate Kiki Jiki, targeting Felidar Guardian. Uh, unfortunately, you misclicked and clicked Dockside. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, so dang. many more treasures. Yeah. <laughs> I could, like, actually spend those MTGO bugs. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, anyway, this uh, is going to constitute a loop. What I'm going to do is activate Kiki Jiki, targeting Felidar Guardian to make a copy of Felidar Guardian. When the copy enters, it triggers its own ability. I'm going to use that to, tr to target Kiki Jiki, which exiles it, returns it to the battlefield untapped, and then I would like to repeat that process to make 100,000 Felidar Guardians. I will attack each of you with 1,000 Felidar Guardians uh, and leaving 97,000 up to block. Wow. Conservative. They go, <laughs> they go away at the end of the turn, Jim. They do. Yeah, so uh, attacking for game. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast Ink Shield that I definitely yeah. have in my deck. Uh, yeah, very good. Block, 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 take uh, 996. Yep. Are they ones? Oh, they are one for us. Yeah, it's 996. Okay, Jerry goes to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a good game. Yeah, the only uh, piece of interaction I had in my hand was this Lindul's Vault, uh, which is... Uh, as you may notice, not a piece of interaction because I have no way to draw a card. Uh, so didn't matter what I could find off of it. So, yeah, unfortunately, Jerry's uh, Cyclonic Rift not good enough for us. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of luck sacked into that one. I had uh, both veils. Yeah, so I was yeah. able to fire off the uh, 
Veil of Summer for the cantrip. Yeah. Which drew me into my last land. I actually did end up needing it because I had to cast the other Veil. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. But I mean, double backup, it's it's pretty tough, right? Oh, yeah. And that, that combo was sweet, though. Mm. <laughs> I could have had turn two Aurelia. Oh, yeah. Without With the, the Null Rod. Lotus. Jewel's Lotus. Oh. Yeah, I, I decided to Aether Vial into Umazawa's Jite. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, what's the point of having Aurelia just Aurelia? I mean, it attacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, it attacks, but yeah. now I'm seven turns away from recasting it if it yeah dies. well and the tough right. part too if it dies you cast it with the jewel lotus right yeah, so like yeah. if it dies it's never coming back yeah <laughs> that's the tough part exactly that's yeah. what i was getting at but yeah no um i think if i had been able to get through with um the construct i probably would have helped clean up uh, the minsk token as well as some yeah. of the stuff jerry was doing yep. yeah it's unfortunate yeah, no, the, the g would have been really strong right yeah mm -hmm. yeah i couldn't let that happen yeah I think that was a sweet game, though. Yeah, that was one of our faster ones in the last little while, I think. Yeah. Um, I uh, Oh, I guess, uh, I think I just shuffled as well. But yeah, the I got uh, kind of greedy on my turn as well, because when I pondered, I saw the two lands that I would have needed and then the Aluren. And then I had the Limbul's Vault in my hand to find the Cavern Harpy to combo, but uh, I did not get three turns, so I didn't yeah. get to draw the Aluren. Yeah. The grip, yeah. Yeah. Well... Um, yeah, if you want to catch the uncut version of this game, um, I don't know if you see how what our runtime is right now. I don't know what it's going to be because we haven't edited this yet, but we have a, a 50 minutes of runtime footage in this game. If you want to catch the full uncut game, uh, you can join our Patreon for as little as a buck and you can watch the unedited games and you can see what we do while we're cut. And we cut a lot in that game. Yeah, lots so, of yeah. shenanigans. Yeah, if you want to check that out, definitely check our Patreon in the, uh, in the comments below or in the video description. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I guess that's it for us. Yeah, we'll catch you next time. I want to take a minute to thank our top supporters. Every single one of you helps us to keep the lights on with your generous contributions, so thank you. If you want to get your name in the credits of our next gameplay episode, head over to Patreon. The link is in the description. Hey, thank you for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you close the window. Or you can click on this link to check out our other great videos.